Well, hello and welcome to the Backcountry Cuisine. Today, I'm gonna try out a new product. It's a bit crazy. I talked about it in my blog, if you uh, read my blog post, but it is the... Grotpa. Yeah, so, so that's all it is, it's just this bag. Cuban fiber bag, that's it, that's all it is. But the idea is pretty simple. You take your meal. I suggest you don't make too big of a meal and make sure your bag's plenty big. Make sure your bag's big, but your meal's not too big and that the zipper is pretty good on it. You put water in it, stick it in the bag, clip these onto your belt loops and stick it in your pants and let your body heat do the cooking for you. So. I'm gonna check it out today. I mean, I'm I'm pretty hot, so I think it's gonna cook pretty well. Wait, it's just my guess, hypothesis. I am a scientist, you know. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try some tuna casserole this morning, and uh, it takes about I said a cup and a half, but I'm gonna put a little less water because you know I don't want any accidents in my pants. If you know what I mean? So yeah, I'll put a. I could always add more water later, I guess, right? So, put a cup of water in there, a cup and a half. That looks pretty milky. Get rid of the air. Triple check that the zipper is closed all the way. Feeling good. Put it in the baggie. How much of a show do you want here, huh? Oh, yeah. oh hey, that's a little cold. All right, all right. That wakes you up in the morning. Where's my, where's my belt loop? Yeah, that'll wake you up. All right. Now, they did say for maximum effect, you gotta go inside the underwear. So, you know, if you're gonna share this meal with somebody, like I am with my partner, you gotta be close, you gotta be tight, because, uh, you know, there might be some residuals. Ah, uh, oh, hey there. All right, all right, all right, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's dangling right where it needs to be to stay warm. Gonna give it a shot, it should sit, it does sit below my waist belt. Now my waist belt will come up here, and so <clears throat> I shouldn't be putting any extra pressure on the bag itself. <laughs> Don't want pressure on the bag. This could be a problem. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hike for an hour or two and check it out and see if we got a crotch potted meal. About an hour, and I uh, thought I would stop and check out the tuna casserole, the crotch pot tuna casserole. Uh, first off, there has been some leakage. Oh, interesting. So a bigger problem with my container than it is with the crotch pot, but there definitely is a little bit of sauce in the bottom of this thing. I got no leakage in the pants, so that's good. But uh, you got to make sure that your your bags don't have any little holes in them at all. So that's something definitely an issue. But moment of truth. And my big question is, is it good enough like this or do you need to heat it up? That's kind of what I'm wondering about. Well, mostly rehydrated. Very, very lukewarm. Like, very lukewarm. Not as good as hot. So, maybe add a little bit more water, although that makes me nervous. So maybe I won't add more water because it's leaking a little bit. And then let it go for another half an hour or so and try it again. All right, I'll report back. All right, it's good. It works, fully works. It's about 
I would give it a 90% rehydrated rate. Probably a couple little things that were crunchy in there, but but really good. Um, I think my partner said it best where it, we made tuna casserole, but normally when it's hot, it tastes more like a tuna casserole. When it's cold like this or lukewarm, it tastes more like tuna salad. So, you know, it's still good, still edible. I think it tastes better when it's hot. So, if I cared only about not bringing a pot, not bringing a, uh, a stove, all that, just trying to reduce weight as much as possible, yeah, I mean, I could easily get away with this. You could totally survive. Doing my final eval of the Gossamer Gear Crush Pot. Oh, crush Pot. And um, it's not all that I hoped it would be, but it's still good. It, it still has its place, it has its purpose. So I was hoping that the food would come out a little hotter, a little bit better tasting, but it didn't. It was lukewarm at best. And um, so that part is a disappointment. However, however, the one thing I do like about it, because my partner and I, we stop along the trail and actually cook up a meal. We're cooking up our last meal right now on this five day trip we took. And oftentimes it takes a long time to do that, that cook. We have to first heat up the water, get it to a boil, put it in the cozy and let it sit there for 15 minutes or so before it's ready to eat. But with the crotch pot, all we had to do is basically heat it up to a warm temperature and we're ready to go. So it was a much faster process. So that part I like. Uh, I think that's a definite win for it. it. If you didn't use a pot cozy, it could definitely be a, a fuel saver, big time, because you would rehydrate it for most of the time, and then you wouldn't have to sit there and simmer it for a long, long period of time. So it has its uses, it has its advantages. Um, you could, again, I think depending on the meal, get away with just the lukewarm temperature kind of stuff, but you have to plan your meals accordingly and not think they're gonna be hot when you, when you eat them. So if you wanted to go ultra, 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 ultra light, this could work as a stove, as a, as a stove replacement, but otherwise, it's just gonna be a good way to get faster on the trail. So if you do like to cook on the trail or if you wanna um, get into camp, you know you're gonna get into camp late and you wanna get your meal done fast, crotch butt does work. Now the last thing we did today was we, uh, instead of putting it in my crotch, and we hung it from the back of the backpack and just let the food rehydrate that way. And it did not do as well. So the body temperature did make a big difference in terms of bringing it up to uh, that rehydrated state. So, crotch pot from Gossamer Gear. It's good, I like it. Um, yeah, it's, it's totally usable. And depending on what you're trying to go for, it can be a real asset. So. Take care and eat well.